The Chang'e 4 mission, which saw the first ever soft landing on the far side of the moon, embodies China's hope to combine human wisdom in space exploration. Chang'e 4 carries four payloads developed by the Netherlands, Germany, Sweden, and Saudi Arabia. Wu Weiren, the chief designer of China's lunar exploration program, said international cooperation is the future of lunar exploration. The radioisotope heat source, a collaboration between Chinese and Russian scientists, will support the probe through the lunar night. The ground station that China has built in Argentina has played an important role in the monitoring and the control of the mission, and ground stations run by the European Space Agency will also offer support. The scientists of the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, or LRO, of NASA have also cooperated with the Chang'e 4 team to study the landing of the Chang'e 4 probe. The US side offered orbital data of LRO, and the Chinese side provided the landing timing and location. Johan Koheller, head of the Solar System Science and Space Situational Awareness at the Swedish National Space Agency, said it is a great achievement by China and we are very happy to be part of it. German professor Robert Wimmer-Schreinweber was part of the development team of the neutron radiation detector. He said, we worked with Chinese scientists for about two years on Chang'e 4. We wouldn't have managed to build our instrument without Chinese help. Guided by the idea of a shared future for mankind, China has always welcomed worldwide space agencies to participate in its lunar exploration programs. This includes the 1999 launch of a China-Brazil Earth resource satellite. It was the first satellite jointly developed by China and another country, and was hailed as a model of South-South cooperation. In 2005, China's two space science satellites joined with the satellites of the European Space Agency to complete the world's first joint, synchronous six-point exploration of the Earth's space obtaining important data. The mission marked the first joint project in satellite technology between China and Europe. China announced in May 2018 that it would welcome all member states of the United Nations to cooperate in its future space station, which is expected to be built by around 2022. Once the station is up and running, China will also invite UN member countries to make use of it as well. Simonetta Di Pipo, director of the UN Office for Outer Space Affairs, welcomed the move as China stands ready to share its state-of-the-art space program. Mafias Marora, a European Space Agency, or ESA, astronaut of German nationality, said that he hoped to work with astronauts from China and other countries in the Chinese manned space station. Jan Werner, Director General of the ESA, praised the fruitful Sino-European cooperation in the field of space activities, saying he hopes European astronauts would one day work in China's Shenzhou spacecraft. Li Guoping, a spokesman for the China National Space Administration, said international cooperation and exchanges are necessary to explore outer space.